Hi, and welcome to the Sacramento Bee's Nightly Buzz. I'm David Caraccio, and here's a recap of today's top stories. Get ready for another major blackout, courtesy of PG&E. The troubled utility warned Monday that it could shut power Wednesday night to as many as 209,000 households and businesses to safeguard portions of its grid from gusting winds and the threat of a major wildfire. Just 10 days ago, PG&E finished restoring power to the last of 738,000 customers after an unprecedented mass blackout that affected portions of 35 counties. The outage left an estimated 1.5 million northern and central Californians without power. Kingsguard Buddy Hield and General Manager Vladi Divats held a news conference to talk about a lucrative new deal that will keep Hield in Sacramento for years to come. The $86 million contract extension comes after weeks of contentious negotiations, but on Tuesday both were all smiles. Devots called Heald a, quote, piece of our core and talked about building something special in Sacramento. Heald said, I'm here as a king now and I'm just trying to win games and take us to the playoffs. That's the focus now. A Sacramento TV reporter is getting bashed after a disastrous live segment on Good Day Sacramento that showed him jumping on classic cars, striking poses, and evading barriers. The incident took place on the floor of the Sacramento International Auto Show on Sunday. The segment featuring videographer Angel Cardenas drew sharp backlash after airing. Car enthusiasts from across the nation flooded Good Day Sacramento's Facebook page to demand apologies after videos and screenshots of the incident drew viral attention. And here's tonight's stinger. The National Academy of Medicine announced Monday that Sacramento researcher David Amaral has been elected to the group. This is one of the highest honors in health and medicine. Amaral becomes the 13th faculty member from the University of California, Davis to secure membership in the group. This has been your nightly buzz. Make it a point to visit sacb.com for more local breaking news.